Hey everybody, welcome back to Restriction Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a blind flight of some low-cost sherried scotches. In this flight today I'm going to have Akintoshin 12, Haberlauer 12, Glendronic 12, and Naked Grouse Blended Scotch. I've got these unboxed, I've got them poured, I've got the glasses mixed up here so they're out of order. Um, they're not in the same order as the bottles on the table, but I'm going to go through and do a blind, blind tasting. So, a uh, little bit of info on these. Um, the Akintoshin 12 and the Avalar 12 are both 40% uh, ABV or 80% alcohol and they are both uh, matured in ex-bourbon barrels and ex-sherry barrels. Um, so they're a combination of sherry and bourbon barrel uh, finished uh, scotches. The Glendronic 12 and the Naked Grouse are both 43% ABV or 86 proof um, and they are both finished in exclusively in sherry. So. The Naked Grouse uh, says uh, First Fill Olorosa Sherry is what it's finished in. And the Glendronic is finished in uh, both PX Sherry and Olorosa Sherry cast. So uh, higher alcohol over here, 43%, but all sherry. Lower alcohol over here, 40%, but and bourbon and sherry cast. So. You know, some similarities, but some differences. All right, so these are, are mixed up. I'm going to call this A, B, C, D from your left to right. I'm going to go through, give a nose, give a taste. Nose on A. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful nose. And, and one thing I will say here, I, I just got into scotch last year really started enjoying it um, non peated scotches a lot of space out of scotches but um, I have found that I've been gravitating towards the sherry finished uh, whiskey so hence this lineup today so glass A though you know beautiful clean nose and and, and the, uh, the Akintosh 12 is also one of the few triple distilled uh, single malt scotches so uh, for extra smoothness so we'll see where that, that comes in so class A on the nose mm, beautiful nose I can smell some wonderful sherry on that and some underlying maltiness that's just right at my alley love it nose on glass B all right, maltiness comes through before the sherry. The sherry's there, but it's a little bit more subdued. So, you know, let's see. I definitely some sherry on this one. It's a different sherry. But the sherry is front and center. And the maltiness is is under there, but um, but the sherry on this one is much pointier, uh, much much narrower uh, aroma on it. So very nice, class D. I'd say the sherry stands out on this one also, but it's it's more of a sharper. I don't want to say vinegar, but you know, it's bordering on vinegar, balsamic or something like that aroma. So, all right. So real quick on the nose, I think A had the best nose. Um, it had, it had, yeah, it has the sherry that I love and the, and the maltiness on there. 
be more malty. Uh, the sherry's there, but it's more malty. C is probably the second best nose, but it's a uh, more refined nose. And D, D's, uh, D's good also, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give A best nose, C the second best, uh, B and D very, I'll, I'll call them even, so. All right, go through and give them a taste. Starting with class A, cheers. All right, beautiful, beautiful taste on, on A. As much as I love the aroma on A, and with the sherry, and then the, the maltiness underneath. On the taste, the maltiness is, is right on top. The maltiness is, is overpowering the sherry. The sherry's there underneath, but um, not any real flavor that stands out there though, so. See how B does. Cheers. All right. B and A have flip flopped with each other. A stood out with the sherry on the nose, underlying maltiness, but on the taste, the maltiness was for was first and foremost with the sherry undertones. B had more of a malty nose, sherry undertones, but on the taste, the sherry was first and foremost. And the maltiness came second, so. Very interesting. But just from a taste standpoint, um, I prefer B over A. From a nosing standpoint, I prefer A over B. Crazy. Let's go with C. Cheers. Yeah, C has a, a sharper, more distinct sherry. Nose. Mm. Oh, wow. Beautiful taste on C. I get the sherry and I get the maltiness, both. The sherry did hit me first. It hit me. Um, I was I was coming off that sharp sharpness of the nose, but um, it's a good sherry um, spiciness. I get the maltiness. I get the the spiciness just lingers. So here we go with C is the best sip so far. Last day of taste, cheers. All right, D, I can taste the sherry, I can taste maltiness. I don't know if I, I think I did say this one borderline on the vinegary nose. I can taste that, I can taste that same it's not quite vinegar, but it is a sharp or sour um, taste that's got to be from the sherry. Hmm. I don't know where to put that, but it's certainly behind C. All right. I'm going to cleanse my palate, go back through, taste these again. I'll do them in reverse order, uh, D through A, next pass. But um, right now, on the first pass, I love, love, love the nose on A. I like the, the taste on C. So we'll see where they fall on the final round. All right. I'm back. I'm going to go back through, give these a final uh, nosing and tasting, and I'll pick my winner for today. But, you know, so far, some, uh, some delicious sherry scotches, you know, definitely all different than each other on the nose and the taste, uh, but, but all delicious. I'm going to start with D and go through and do it in reverse order this time. 
the nose and the taste on D. All right, on D, I still get that vinegary sharpness on the nose. On the taste, um, I'm not going to call it that. It's, it's definitely a, a good cherry first and foremost on the taste with a little bit of underlying maltiness. A little bit of dryness on that though. Good, good sip. Let's see. Cheers. Similar reaction on C. The, the nose is, is smoother, but distinctly sherried. The taste is sherried with underlying maltiness, a little bit of dryness. Oh, this goes to C between C and D. All right, yeah, C, C is beating out D. All right, before I go to B, let's do a quick break here. And remind everybody, you know, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing here. Leave some comments down below on on what you like here, what you don't like here. Um, if you're new here. Think about hitting that subscribe button, it really helps. Appreciate it. But also, um, order around you, you can find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash description bourbon. Uh, growing community there. I've got some extra content, polls, extra videos, um, extra posts. And it's just another forum to get involved with the chat and and you know community and voice voice your opinions on things. All right, glass B. Maltiness on this one. Beats out the sherry on the nose. Mm. So sort of delicious taste. The sherry's there, the maltiness is there. It's all there. It's a it's a very very well rounded. So, how's that compared to C? Yeah, if we're looking, for, if we're looking for a sherry finish here, and I believe we are. I am. Um, C beats out B barely. Uh, D's gonna still be in last place here so far. Let's go with Class A. Wonderful promo, Class A. Wow. As much as that sherry aroma is on Class A, it is not on the taste at all. I think Class A has the best aroma. But on the taste, even glass B beats it. And I go with the taste. And the and the, there's not a whole lot of finish here. There is some spiciness that lingers. Um, but there's there's no heat here. We're, we're down at you know 40, 40 percent ABV. So it's it's not hot. Nothing's here is hot. Um, compared to bourbons, anyways. Um, but there's there's my final finish here. Um, C's my winner, then B A, and D's in fourth place. All right, let's go through and do a quick reveal, and we'll see what we have. In fourth place, Class D is the Naked Grouse. Um, that's, that's a shocker to me. Um, now, I don't know if it, it's, you know, it's, this is the only blended scotch here. Um, I really expected this one to do better. If you were betting on this, you probably would have bet this one would come in the last, so. All right. Third place. 
today for my taste profile. Now, I'm no expert, this is just my taste, is the Akintoshin. All right, way over here. So this is the one that's the triple, triple distilled. Um, this is bourbon and sherry finished. I think this had my best nose. This I love the nose of the soccer ocean. Beautiful. But it just, the nose had cherry with some underlying malt, but the taste was malt with underlying cherry. So it flip-flopped. Crazy. B comes in a second place. This is the Everlord. All right, Everlower, Everlower 12, double cast mature. This is also finished in bourbon barrels and sherry barrels and then blended together. So this guy honestly was muted compared to some of the other ones, but A and B without any question in my mind flip-flopped. Sherry on the nose, the underlying malt, malt on the nose with underlying sherry. You you taste them and they flip. Malt with sh on the on the taste with underlying sherry, sherry on the taste with underlying malt. My winner today is the Glendronic. Wow. Glendronic 12. Yeah, it was sharper on the nose, on the on the sherry. I mean, it was very, it was similar to A, without a doubt, with the sherry on the nose and the sherry on the taste with the underlying maltiness. But, um, you know, I, I like the nose on A be, like, compared to the sharpness of the nose on C. This is a delicious pour. Love it. All right, there you go. Don't forget to hit that like, hit subscribe, leave some comments. But remember, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. All scotch comes from Scotland. And Scotland makes some pretty damn good whiskey. Cheers.